Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 6 assignment 6 answers of the course Database Management System. So the first question is on your screen. Which of the statements is or are correct? Now the first option is B tree indexing requires less number of nodes than corresponding B tree. So uh, here see the advantage of B tree indices that may use less tree nodes than the corresponding B plus tree. So it is true. That means the first option that is B tree indexing requires less number of nodes than a corresponding B plus tree is true. Now uh, the second option is non leaf nodes of B tree do not contain record pointers. So the non leaf nodes here you will see that. Uh, search keys in non-leaf nodes appears nowhere else in the B tree. An additional pointer field for each search key in a non-leaf node must be included. That means uh, the pointers should be there in a non-leaf node. Here you find that non-leaf node pointers bi. That means i is from one to m minus one. So are the bucket or file or record pointer. So in case of non-leaf nodes uh, of the B tree, it contains record pointers. But here it is written that uh, it do not contain record. Uh, so option B is false. Now uh, for option C that size of non-leaf nodes of B plus tree is larger than leaf nodes. You will find that a leaf node is generally larger than a non-leaf node. But here it is written uh, the non-leaf node is larger than uh, the leaf node. That means the opposite is written. So option C is also false. Now sequential traversing is also possible in B plus tree. Uh, so if we see the advantage of B plus trees then we will find that data stored in B plus tree can be accessed both sequentially and directly. So option D is also correct. That means sequential, traverse, uh, sequential traversing is also possible in B plus tree. So option A and option D is the correct answer. Consider the following two tables. Identify the correct worst case time complexity for the given operation and data structure. Now these are the data structures and operation and these are the worst case time complexity. So we have to match these two columns. Now first see search in an ordered array. So what is the worst time complexity? So uh, in case of ordered array, the worst case time complexity in case of search is order of login. And for search in an unordered list, search in an unordered list, the worst case time complexity is order of n. That means for search in an ordered array, the time complexity is c. For search in an unordered list, the time complexity is order of n. And now we will find the uh, worst case time complexity of delete from a 2, 3, 4 trees. So uh, for a 2, 3, 4 trees, the worst case time complexity of delete is order of login. Uh, for 1, also the answer will be C. So in option B, you will find that 1 is C, 2 is also C, 3 is B and 4 is A. That means the finding minima in a mean, mean heap the worst case time complexity will be option A. Option B will be the answer of this uh, question number 2. Now this is question number 3. Consider a hash table of size m is equal to 1000 and the hash function is equal to round k divide 7 modulo 1000. Compute the location where the k equal to 97531 will be stored. Now this is the question. So hash table size is given as 1000 that means m equal to 1000 and k value is also given that is 97531. Now here uh, the function age of k is given as round k divided by 7 that means after dividing uh, k value that means 97531 by 7 we will get 13933. It is already an integer. So uh, if we uh, do the round off of this uh, value, then you will get this value itself. So nothing will change. Now, after that, uh, we have to do the modulation. That means round k by 7 uh, modulo 1000. So if we do the modulation of this uh, value, that means 13933, then we will get 933 as the answer. So uh, option D will be the answer of question number 3. Now, uh, coming to question number 4, how many maximum numbers of keys a B tree of order 6 can store? The height of the tree is 4 and the root node is assumed to be in height 0. So these are the options of question number 4. So uh, we have to remember that a B tree of order M and height H will have a maximum number of keys when all the nodes are completely filled. So the B tree will have K equal to M to the power H plus 1 where M is the 
ordered and age is the height here uh, ordered means 6 and height means 4 so uh, 6 to the power 4 plus 1 minus 1 so 6 to the power 5 minus 1 we will get 7776 minus 1 that equal to 7775 that means 7775 will be our answer that means option b will be the answers for question number 4 now coming to question number 5 in a B plus tree indexing, size of the search key fields is 10 bytes. If the block size is 2 kilobytes and the block pointer size is 14 bytes, calculate the order of a non-leaf name. Now, we have to remember that if the disk block size D equal to 2 kilobytes is given here in the question, that means if the block size is 2 kilobytes and block pointer size is also given, that is 14 bytes, uh, which we denoted by B and key field. Uh, that means search key field uh, is 10 bytes so k equal to 10 bytes and if we consider the order uh, is denoted by p then uh, there is a formula that is p into p plus p minus k into k uh, is always less than equal to d that means less than equal to the block size then order equal to p so p into 14 plus p minus 1 into 10 uh, less than equals to 2048 bytes so because we know that uh, 1 k be equal to 1024 uh, bytes so uh, 2048 bytes uh, equal to 2 k so if we solve this equation, then we will get p less than equal to 85.75. So uh, our answer will be 85 because it is less than 85.75. So uh, option C will be the answer for question number 5. So now we are coming to question number 6. A relational table is saved in the disk and indexed with bitmap index. Size of the bitmap index file is 512 bytes. If there are 16 distinct values in the index column, how many rows are there in the relation table? So these are the options uh, 256, 128, 64 and 32. Uh, so now uh, let's consider the number of rows equal to n. Uh, what we have to find out that how many rows are there in the relational table. So we uh, consider it as n. Now uh, the distinct values is given that is d is given as 16. Uh, now, uh, the total size of bitmap index file is also given that is 512 bytes. So, there is a uh, equation that is d into n by 8, which is the total size of the bitmap and which is equal to 512 as per the question. So, uh, d equal to 16 and n we have to find out and 8 is uh, uh, in the equation. So, uh, we can find n from this equation. So, n equal to 512 into 8 by 16, so 256. So, for question number 6, uh, the answer will be 256, that is option A. Now, coming to question number 7, uh, there are a 2343 is given and if we want to add a new key 40, then what will be the resultant tree? So before doing this uh, question, we have to know one thing, that is for 2343, if we insert one uh, value in it or key in it, then uh, this is how we uh, have to insert. If there is three elements, that is S, M and L, then we have to promote this m in the uh, root node or in the parent node of this child node and we have to divide uh, this uh, s and l separately that means uh, for this case if we want to add uh, a new key that is 40 we have to add it after this 30 and before this 50 so if we add this new key in the left node uh, here in this question uh, 42 65 and 63 is the parent node and there is four child node uh, this is the left child node 10 20 30 so if we add 40 in the left child node then we have to split this node because uh, more than three keys can't be possible in this node so we have to split uh, this node and how we will split this node that means uh, 20 will be promoted to the parent node if we want to split this node so 10 will be there 20 and 30 will be there and uh, sorry 20 will be promoted to the uh, parent node and 30 and 40 will be there and uh, 50 will be uh, the child node of this node so uh, this is how it will be splitted. Now, if 20 went to this node, then uh, the total number of element in this node will be 4. So, again, we have to split this node also. So, if we split this uh, node, then the middle element is 65. So, 65 will become the parent node of this node and 42 and 73 will separate out uh, like that. And uh, we will uh, get this uh, type of uh, tree. That means uh, 65 will be the parent node, 20 and 42 will be the child node of this node, and 73 is also another child node. And uh, 40 will be added after this 30. So 10 and 30, 40 will be splitted because 20 uh, is already promoted. So uh, this is the tree what we get. So B will be the answer of question number 7. So B. Now coming to question number 8. A hash table contains 10 indices 0 to 9 buckets and uses linear probing to resolve collisions. The key values 
are integers and the hash function used is key module 10. Now given the following input 221, 334, 447, which of the following statements is true? This is the question. Now for the first one, first value that means 221, if we do this key module 10, then we will get 1. That means bucket 1 is now empty at first. So 21 goes to bucket 1. Now for 334, module 10, we will get 4. So bucket 4 is now empty. So 334 goes to bucket 4. Now for 447, that is the third value. Uh, 447 module 10 will give us 7. So 7 is empty. So 447 will went to bucket 7. So this way for the, all the values, we have to uh, find out the modulo of that number and then uh, the bucket is empty or not. And if the bucket is not empty, then uh, the element will go to the next bucket. That means uh, you see for 771 modulo 10, we will again get 1. But uh, in bucket 1, already there is 221. So 771 can't be there. So 771 uh, will be probed to the next bucket. That is bucket number 2. And as the bucket number 2 is empty, then so that is why 771 goes to bucket 2. And if at this time that bucket 2 is not empty, then the 771 will go to the next bucket. That means uh, then 771 will go to bucket number 3. But here uh, bucket 2 is empty. That's why 771 will go to bucket 2. Now 574 modulo 10 equal to 4, so bucket 4 uh, is occupied by uh, 334, so bucket, uh, 574 will go to bucket number 5. And as bucket number 5 is empty, so 574 will go to bucket 5. Now in that way we have to uh, find out uh, uh, what number will go to which bucket. So for 841 modulo 10 we will get 1 and that's why uh, it will go to bucket 1, but bucket 1 is uh, full. Now it will go to bucket 2, the bucket 2 is uh, again full because 771 is there. Now it will go to bucket 3, bucket 3 uh, is also full because 673 is in bucket 3. Now that's why uh, at last if we uh, go to bucket 6, then the bucket 6 is empty and 841 will go to bucket 6. So that's uh, the way uh, this uh, problem we have to solve. And uh, so answer will be option C, that is uh, 673 and 343 uh, are stored in bucket 3 and 4. Now coming to question number 9, uh, this table is given where the participants are given and category are given and uh, the grade. Now the bitmap indices of a category and a grade are 00101 and 10110 respectively identity value of category and the grade. Now this is the table. Now for uh, uh, category the bit is 00101 that means if we put this uh, 00101 uh, in this table that means uh, in this way then uh, for each uh, beat one there is uh, music in the category so uh, for music beat is one so that's why the category will be music and if we uh, think about in the same way the for the grade then uh, for the grade the beat is one zero one one zero that means uh, for each uh, grade a there is one in the beat so a uh, grade will be a so in that way we have to think this question and uh, the answer will be option number a So coming to question number 10, suppose there is a relation student ID name age uh, with a B plus tree index with search key ID. What is the worst case cost of finding records satisfying 20 less than ID less than 40 using this index in terms of the number of records restrict M and the height of the tree is H. Worst case time complexity will be order of H plus M. So option D will be the answer. So if you get some help from this video, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video.